Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET.Core and today we are going to discuss about domain driven programming and domain driven design in ASP.NET Core with examples this time I am going to discuss with this chapter. Domain driven design is a design approach that emphasizes understanding the business domain and using that understanding to guide the design of the software application. The goal of the domain driven design is to create a software system that models the domain accurately and easy to understand and maintain. Okay. Now, uh, we are discussing about uh, in ASP.NET Core, domain driven design can be implemented by breaking down the application into three main layers, presentation layer, application layer and domain layer. So, uh, the presentation layer, uh, you can say this layer is responsible for handling user input and displaying data to the user. It can be implemented using ASP.NET Core MVC, Razor Pages and any other technologies that support web development. Application layer, this layer contains the application logics and acts as a bridge between the presentation layer and the domain layer. It uses the services provided by the domain layer to perform operations on the data and return the result to the presentation layer. Now the next one is the domain layer. This layer contains the domain models and business logic of the application. It should be independent of any specific technology or framework. The domain model should accurately reflect the business domain and be designed to meet the specific requirement of an application. Now, uh, also have the key concept of DDD that is ubiquitous language. Know that uh, this is a common language used by everyone involved in the development process to discuss the domain concept and models. It ensured that the domain models accurately reflected the business domain and easy to understand and maintain. Bounded, uh, bounded context is also there. So a bounded context is a specific area of the domain and that has its own concept, languages and models. It is important to the define the boundaries of the bounded context to ensure that each one is properly encapsulated and isolated from the other. Now the next one is entities. Entities are objects in the domain that have a unique identity and can be tracked and persistent over time. They represent the real world object in the domain such as customer orders and products. The next one is the value objects. Value objects are objects in the domain that have no identity of their own and are defined by their attributes or properties. They represent concept in the domain that can be measured or compared such as the currency values, dates or email addresses. So uh, here we have the key concept of uh, the uh, domain driven design. The next one is uh, here we have a simple example of domain driven design uh, like that uh, you can see that here we have uh, you know that uh, the key difference between the domain driven design and your uh, three layer architectures you know notice that every time you have to notice that uh, if we compare both uh, three layer architecture and domain driven design. So, the, the key difference between the domain driven design and the uh, three layer architecture is that on the, uh, if the DDD approach, we might focus on modeling the domain and the business logic of the application. We might uh, have classes that represent the entities in the domain that is customer product and order and classes that represent domain specific operations like place order calculate shipping cost and apply discounts. That is the part of the uh, domain driven design. So you can see in the public class, product class, customer class, order class, order item class, but the domain specific information is actually available in that interface that is I order service, I shipping service and I discount service. Okay, so so uh, you can see that if you build an e-commerce application that allow customer to browse products and place order, we might start by identifying the entities in our uh, our domain such as product, customer and order. We might also identify domain specific operations such as place order, calculate shipping cost and apply discounts. So these are the based on your, uh, you can say it's a 
domain driven design so domain specific information is only i order service i shipping service discount service and you can see that calculate cost uh, calculate shipping cost apply discounts and plus orders so these are the you can say uh, domain specific information okay so that is the domain uh, driven design and uh, if you compare other things then you can say that it's not actually uh, related to the domain specific information okay so that is the domain driven design